Welcome to St. Paul's Lutheran Church in Walkersville, Maryland. We're glad that you're here to join us today and as we get ready for our in-person worship inside the sanctuary, we're hopeful that you, this video will help you to see things are a little bit different than when we were back here in March. So you'll notice behind me, this is normally the front door where people most often come in and are greeted by you know, our, our greeters and get your bulletin. This door is gonna be an emergency exit only. So it will be unlocked, but it won't be open for us to go in. So that's the same thing as the back door coming from the uh, area above the social hall or into the education wing. That's gonna be emergency exit only, and we would ask that you don't use that to come in to the church. The side door is gonna be the preferred door of choice because it's accessible. That's where everybody can get in, and that's where we're staged people up to help you navigate the how wherever we're gonna walk through the church. So one thing that we really wanna make sure of is that when we get down towards the door, we're going to be greeted by someone to tell us what we have to do next. And we're going to be getting that done at every step of the way. So you'll notice that masks are going to be required for us when we're inside the church. You know, it's not outside, but and then when we get down and we'll get up here and we'll talk to Linda and Linda will tell us what we need to do next. But again, we want to make sure that we're kind of maintaining our distance and as you can see on the pass up ahead, this leads to the side door and there's another door that leads over, another sidewalk that leads over to Fulton Avenue. If, if you need handicap access, that's the place to park or you can park in the, uh, in the parish hall uh, parking lot. But that's kind of how we're gonna do this. And we wanna just make sure that you're staying at a, a good distance so that everything doesn't get bottlenecked up inside. Okay? Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. How are you today? Good. Welcome to St. Paul's. Thank you. Thank you very much for wearing a mask. We would ask for you to put that on while you're in the building. Excellent. I will do that right now. Yeah. Temperature station inside. We'll just take the temperature real quick and then ask you to, to, sign, uh, to sign a piece of paper before entering the sanctuary. Excellent. Thank Excellent. you. Glad you're here. Thank you. Good morning, welcome to St. Paul's. How are you? I'm good. Would you please lean into the machine until it beeps to take your temperature? And then step hey. over to the sanitizer. Okay. Those are pretty nifty. Thank you very much. So what you're going to do is come in the door, you're going to have put on your mask, and then the, the usher or greeter or whoever we want to call them are going to ask you to take your temperature. And then once you take your temperature, we're going to ask that you use the hand sanitizer. We do, and try not to touch it because all of the stuff here is all electronic. Good morning. How Hi. are you? How are you? Very good. Welcome to St. Paul's. Um, have you filled out our waiver? Yeah. I have filled okay. out the waiver. Great. Because I got was able to get that online. Okay. It, I think it came out on the Wednesday Weekly. Okay, yes. So we want people to make sure that they're looking for the Wednesday Weekly, that they will get the waiver and just have it filled out when they get here. Right. All right. All right. So then I just need your name and phone number. Phil. Okay. 555-1212. Okay. Great. And I see that you're wearing your mask. Yay. And you had your temperature checked. Yep. We have a signed waiver. I'm going to initial you with it. You are... Ready to Good go, to go. Church, excellent. And we'll see so you'll notice that there's another sanitizing station here. You know, you can't get too, your hands too clean. So just keep rubbing them and wiping them. And hi, how are you? Oh, fine. How are you? I'm doing dandy. Welcome to St. Paul's. Thank you. A brother chest will see bulletins and the offering plate. Okay. And then you go over to the center aisle and someone will see you. Excellent. So you'll see as you come through here that we're going to do hands-free offering. So please put your offering in the plate on the chest and then someone will take care of that at the end of the service. So now what we're going to do is we're going to follow. I've been pointed in the direction of the next usher. And as we come into the church, we're going to be seated from the back to the front. And you'll notice that the pews are kind of marked off with blue tape. 
those are the ones that we're not going to sit in. And likely enough, they, they're the ones that have the cushions. So we're going to be sitting in the pews that don't have cushions. They're, they don't, they're bare wood. So if you need a cushion for your cushion, make sure you bring one. Okay? And as we walk in here further, you'll see our Mevo. This is how we're recording the service and being able to put it out live virtually. So as you walk in here, you're going to kind of have to pay attention to what things are going on in the, in the aisle. The other thing that we're looking at is we're thinking of using a projector to put our bulletin up on the area where the banner is. So we're still working that out. So look forward to that in the future. Welcome Good morning. 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 Good so as you're sitting here, you'll notice that there are no hymnals in the pews, which is a part of the reason why we're looking at using the projector screen. But as we come back into worship, there won't be any singing by the parishioners. We'll have a cantor up there in the choir loft just beyond where Kay is, and that person will do all the singing for us. But when we get to the parts of the service where we're doing the Lord's Prayer or the, the Creed or responses, amens, etc., we can do the holy mumble under our masks, you know, so that we are kind of taking into account people around us so that we're not just spreading germs around. So the worship has happened, and now I'm ready to leave. So, okay, what do I do next? Okay, so then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to start ushering people from the front to the back. You go out this way, please, and just where you came in. And she's maintaining that six foot distance. And you'll notice that when Kay is pushing people, or not pushing people out, but ushering people out, that we're keeping the six foot distance and we're not hanging out inside the church. So normally where we would have the chat in the overflow area, that's not happening. So we're going to ask you just to leave the church building. And then if you want to share fellowship, you can do that outside. Please watch your step. Go out the same way you came in. So as we come out, you want to be cognizant that the Mevo camera is in the middle of the aisle. There's also another camera over here that we use, both for the worship services. So just use caution as you go out. And then you'll just usher out basically the same way that you came in and just keep on moving. So as we get ready to depart, we'll say goodbye to our ushers. Thank you very much. And we'll come out here. We'll see you next time. Thank you for coming. Enjoy your Thank week. Thank you. And then we'll be out. Once you're outside, you can take your mask off if you so choose. And then you can have fellowship out here. But we ask that you move away from the door so that people can get out. Or if people have to conduct business, that they can get back in. But certainly use the lawn. Use whatever it is to say hello to your fellow congregants and especially to any visitors who are here. We want to welcome everyone back and we're glad you're with us.